Welcome to Mailbox Monday for November 18th. Um, this is my Mailbox Monday for the last two weeks. I know I've gotten a ton of books in the weeks previous, like the two weeks before. Um, I only got five in the last couple of weeks, which is good. It lets me get caught up on other stuff. Um, so I'll go through those now. I got one book for review, and that was um, The Riverman by Aaron Starmer. He wrote another book called The Only Ones, which was kind of about aliens and stuff like that. Um, I really liked it, and so I'm excited to see what this new book is about. I'm trying to remember. I think this releases in either January or February. Um, so it doesn't release for a while yet. Uh, it's about, it sounds like it's about a girl who is the girl who is in all stories. But in real life, she's a different girl who's a little bit mentally disturbed. My husband is watching me talk right now. Um, and she ends up trying to get this guy to write her tale, like her biography. And the whole reason that she's the girl from all the stories is she has a gate to another realm in her basement that leads to the land where all stories are made. So this is about this girl trying to get this guy to write her biography, and that's kind of what we're reading. At least that is my understanding of it. So that's The Riverman by Aaron Starmer, and it sounds pretty good, and... There are some preliminary reviews up already, and it sounds like people are really enjoying it, so that's good to hear. All right, so that was the one book I got for review this week. Um, I also bought an audiobook this week, um, Long Live the Queen by Kate Locke. This is the third and final book in the Immortal Empire series. Um, this has been an absolutely just super fun series. The lady who narrates it on audiobook is, is very excellent. She's got a great voice for it, really matches the character well. Um, and it's about a, it's kind of like a historical London set novel with a bit of a steampunk flair to it. Um, the, she ends up actually being a goblin queen and there's vampires and werewolves and all that kind of fun stuff. And it's just a very fun book. So I'm excited to read that. I got three books from Paperback Swap this week. The first one I got is The Iron Worm Affair. By Lilith St. Crow. This is the first book in the Bannon and Claire series. Um, this is another steampunk series where it features the heroine Emma Bannon, who is a forensic sorceress in the service of the Empire. And she has a mission to protect Archibald Clare, a failed unregistered Mintath. So, anyways, this one sounds interesting. Um, it actually isn't getting very good reviews. Uh, but I really like steampunk books, so hopefully I will enjoy it because I like the subject matter so much. We'll see. Um, I've read, I'm trying to think, I've read Dante Valentine, which is a uh, much older Lilla St. Crow series, Urban Fantasy series, and I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the first three books in that series, but the last two not so much. Um, I know she also writes the Jill Kismet Urban Fantasy series, so um, I have not read that, but hopefully I'll enjoy this. The second book I got through Paperback Swap is Bewitching by Alex Flynn, and this is a follow-up to Beastly, and it basically talks about Kendra, the witch who cursed the, the boy, the teenage boy in Beastly, and it's another story about her. And I think it's a story about how she got to become a witch or whatever. Um, I like Alex Flynn's writing. She's got a very particular writing style. It's kind of simple, but it's always a little bit quirky and funny, too. So I'm looking forward to reading this as well. I've had it on my wish list for a long time, so I was happy to get a hold out of it. And then the last one I got from Paperback Swap is King of Thorns, um, book two of The Broken Empire by Mark Lawrence. I actually thought this was the first book in the series, but it's not. The first book in the series is Prince of Thorns, so I will have to get that and read that first. Um, this is, from what I know, epic fantasy about, let's see, what is it about? Um, about some boy becoming king or whatever. It sounds very typical, epic fantasy, wars, kingships, politics, all that kind of stuff. So I've heard good things about it. It's one I've been wanting to read, so I'm excited to read that as well. And that is all I got this week. So it's a pretty short video, which is good because my phone is about to die. So thank you guys for all stopping by and listening, and I hope you got some great books this week, and I will talk to you next week. Okay, bye.